you know, speak much about the translation of the Igbo, the language I used in um, the other prophecy, which God spoke to the south eastern Nigerian, the Igbos and the south south, most especially the Igbos. Now, um, a revolution is coming, and God has been speaking about this revolution. God is still speaking for years. God has been speaking about these revolutions. He even said the same, and He's still saying, and He keeps speaking. Jesus, we keep on speaking. The Holy Ghost, we keep on speaking. The Igbos, the, the, the Nigerian soldiers are, have, have been planning something. They have been planning something within themselves, and this something is that they, they have been planning this um mega me, mega takeover. It's called kind of a, 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 a um, gorilla attack. You know, I use the word gorilla attack because it's kind of a warfare stuff. They, they, they have called in the generals, even the retired generals, they are calling the generals which are mostly not in none of the Easterners are there. I, I wouldn't get a meeting. And God showed me that they, are, they have surrounded the table and doing a meeting. And a book was showed, a book containing 1979, 1976 files, military files, which entails kind of a um, plan and tactics and um, how to take over or trying to like bend the Easterners. To subject them, that is the Igbos. Now, is it is a plan that, that 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 inside their coven they have already orchestrated these plans. They have already they have already planned it. It's just about executing and deploying it out. Now, Jesus, when God is showing this, it means that He really wants to save His people. Trust me, He really wants to save you. The Igbos, the Southern Easterns, are really really true Christians of God. They are true sons of God, and God is very very conscious in protecting His people. There is a revolution, there is a war coming down to the east, to the Igbos. Question is, are Igbos ready for this? Are they conscious about the time when God speaks? My own is to speak, and God is still speaking. God is saying, are we ready? We have the mighty God in battle. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the one that created the heaven and the earth, the dry land and the seas. The God I fear. Even the skies tremble at this coming. At this nostrils they divided the rest and found the forests. This is the same God that fights for the evils and will continue to fight for the evils. The Christians. The evils, we are blessed. God is fighting your battles. God is showing, God is showing about the evils where they are wearing another uniform. A regalia army uniform due to the war, due to the civil civil war that is about coming, they're going to be they're going to be conscious, you know, to wear a civil army regalia, kind of cotton color, green and red, kind of black something. You know, the complete different uniform from that of Nigeria's and Northern Army. So it's just something that there is a need for defense. There is a need for Christian defense. God is speaking about defense. It's not about for you to be there and then be slaughtered. God doesn't want you to be slaughtered. He wants you to be put to precious your life. Those who precious is like God really, really is interested in you precious your life. Like you have to take care of your own life. God is showing about the evils. Putting on this uniform, this military uniform. Young men are all are all seeing young men in their different uniforms. And these uniforms that are already kind of like planted like in each and every one of the streets, their men are moving on to their business, but still yet conscious ready. They are conscious in the spirit and conscious in the mind, they are conscious really about their environment. Something huge is about coming down. You don't allow them to come in, you protect yourselves. I'm not here preaching war, I'm here preaching peace, and I'm here bringing the words of Lord God Almighty to you. Hear the words of the Lord. Be conscious. Pray. It is only God who will save you. Say, it is God that has the heart of the kings. He's the God that has the heart of the kings in his hands. He's the one that caught it and he's the one that brings it up. He's the one that ordained it. He's still the God of Elijah, the same God of Elijah, the same God that when the Syrian army came to arrest Elijah and his servants, and, they, uh, 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 and Elijah said, he that is with us is greater than he that is in them, in the world. The same God that fought for Elisha will continue to fight for the Hebrews, for the Christians in Nigeria. And so shall it be upon us in Jesus' name. Please, all of you out there, continue to pray. Prayer is the key. 
Prayer is the only master key. Prayer is the only thing that brings you close to God. Continue praying that God will do His will and God will avert every bloodshed to Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray. So, beloved, I believe we all heard what the man of God has to say and what God revealed to him concerning the Igbos and also the Nigerian army and their plan towards this set of group of people. There's some things I just want to say after hearing what he has to say. And also, the best we can do is to pray so that their plan do not manifest or succeed at the end of the day. Because, see, I'm tired of hearing that there will be bloodshed i'm tired of hearing that people are gonna lose their life in the process of all these things i don't want let it be peaceful and the nigerian government we are just tired give the evils what they want and let them go so why okay just imagine what he says that the military business are actually planning to attack them and it's not just ordinary people in the military the top tops or gas and they selected themselves in a way that the evils are not part of it and it's not just the south east the south south and the east like they are planning an attack against them and these are also human beings for crying out loud so if their plan is to raise revolution in nigeria again another civil war please we don't want it all we want is just to do things peacefully and amicably so that everybody can just go their way you see this thing has been too long it's overdue honestly i feel like they need to actually answer and say oh you can go you can be an independent country from us at least it will be like they come out of nigeria won't that be something they should be rejoiced full over that yes the Biafrans come came out of Nigeria because and one thing you need to know is that evil people are go getters. If they set their minds on something, they are definitely definitely gonna achieve it despite the circumstances surrounding it. They would definitely definitely go for that thing that their heart, their mind, their body and soul have told them that they can actually accomplish this at the end of the day. So irrespective of anything that the Nigeria government are doing are saying that no if we see they are scared that they are going to survive on their own i remember people i hear people who say that oh Igbo doesn't have anything they don't have any mineral resources they don't have that they don't have that how are they going to survive as an individual country on their own that is why the nigerian government don't want to who told you that please who told you that Igbo people are one of the most notorious business people i've ever known in my life and they are go-getters put them in desert they are going to find a way to survive so you can tell me that oh because they don't have any mineral what do you they don't have any mineral resources a lot of mineral resources that have been um discovered in nigeria entirely do you think is everything that make it to the news there are some mineral resources that you're not you have not even heard of in your life before it's not gold it's not um diamond it's see forget i don't want to mention a whole lot but they don't make it to the news they make it to this or you see videos of it on youtube on facebook that the community has actually made a video of it and they posted it online the government um politicians and leaders are coming to actually harvest these mineral resources without developing the community these mineral resources can be actually um harvested um process and also help to also develop that particular community because it belongs to the people of that land but no they won't do that too they're going to take it for their self and that of their family that is what nigerian government is good at doing and that is what they will keep on doing just to make sure that the politicians are okay well fed uh their pocket is well full and they can travel anytime they want to travel they don't care about the little communities and the poor masses they see us like animals or slave i don't even know honestly they don't count us among humanities like that is what i see they see us as a different race from them because they are rich honestly you need to hear those people talk to you the way they like see you have not encountered one and i pray you don't encounter one like the way we have encountered and see how these rich people treat us ill but i just hope that 
the Igbo succeed at the end of the day and Biafra is being given to them so that they can go and run their own race because see it's not easy honestly it's not easy nobody is going to tell you that it's easy anything that's worth fighting for fight for it anything that is good will not be hand over to you just like that in a platter of gold you have to struggle your way to the top you have to fight for it but i don't want to fight any in a sense that it's going to contain blood share so please let's pray so that some of these things doesn't happen the only thing we can do is to pray for god to divide all those things for god to actually see the people of the evil actually achieve their goal their desire from their four forefathers some people this is their third generation since the ojuku and the civil war actually happened some families like this is their third generation and they have been rooting that they want out of nigeria how long are they going to cry before this country is actually given to them and i just want them to do things the right way both the evils and the nigerian government should do things the right way because we are one irrespective of dialect or country we are one we have the same color of blood flowing through our veins that this person is different because he's evil because he speaks different because he talks different no we are one we are brothers and sisters so if these people want out please let them go we don't want another civil war in nigeria again because the last one that happened even way before i was born it claims a lot of lives so why would we want to go through the same process for those people to actually gain their freedom so let's just do it let it be paperwork let it be done amicably and at the end of the day everybody is satisfied both sides are satisfied the evils are okay the nigerians are okay if you feel like these people don't contribute to the growth of the nation they don't have anything to offer why are you still keeping them they say they want out of this thing for more than 50 years so give them out so honestly me I, when i heard this what is going to happen between the evils and the nigeria military i just said let me come and share it here so that we have an insight of what is coming and what is about to take place god reveal things so that we can stop it by prayer and by actually going about it the right way that is why i intend to share anything that i come across here for us so that we can hear listen apply so that it work for us because he says there is a revolution that is coming and it's going to be massive and it's going to claim a lot of life because documents for years back have been brought and then they have analyzed it ways to go about it and please let's pray so that these things doesn't happen let the way of god be carried out in our nations and in our land at the end of the day but let it be peaceful please let's apply cautions while trading in any aspects or handling these issues and please for those that will come and comment all manner of things in this video please be careful the kind of words you choose your choice of words and all that so please 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 that is just the video that i want to share with you guys this morning and please if you have not subscribed to our channel can you pause this video subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and please share this video on facebook whatsapp tiktok on x instagram and spotify a whole lot of platforms that are out there please share it so that it can create awareness and so that people will be mindful of what is coming and what is happening so please share this video on all social media platforms and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber oh my goodness i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always watching our video god bless you as you do that all the time so guys that is just what i want to share with you this morning i will see you guys shortly in the next one bye for now guys mm -hmm.